hey, welcome to another episode of Cab Fit. So, just gonna jump right into it here. Um, no need to, to have a massive narration um, with this particular video. Ingredients are on the screen. I'm just gonna add some addendums to the recipe where necessary, specifically with the uh, extra ingredient section and the part where I'm just rolling it to explain what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, you can. the cool thing about this recipe, uh, super, super high fiber. I've posted all the macros at the end. Super, super low carb. Uh, almost no real glycemic impact. I mean, you can have one of these a day and, and just that alone will keep you regular in terms of fiber uh, content. Very, very healthy for you. Coconut has all sorts of, have, of great, uh, great uh, uh, fat properties as well too. So does olive oil. So this is all very healthy. Uh, roll these into any shape you want. You can actually, I've done a dinner roll kind of shape and then I also did a hot dog bun because we had some hot dogs the other day, all natural hot dogs that we made ourselves. I guess they're sausages really, but we call them hot dogs. <laughs> And so yeah, so you can make them into whatever shape you want. So the added ingredient here, this is one of the key things I want to talk about. Put in whatever you want. Uh, if you're if you're going to ideally something kind of liquid, all right, because you still want to, coconut flour is very thirsty for liquid. So you need to add um, a ton of liquid. That's why you see a ton of liquid ingredients to what I'm doing here. It doesn't have to be peanut butter, but something at least, you know, to coin from Justin Trudeau, moist, <laughs> something moist and wet that will uh, get absorbed by the coconut oil. Here, when we're tossing and flattening it, it's kind of like when you do like, I don't know if you like a handmade uh, dough or something like that. You just want to leaven it a little bit just with, with, uh, with force actually. So just smack it around a little bit and bounce back and forth until it feels a little bit spongy and it starts to take shape and smooths out a little bit pat it down and then just pop it on a tray. You can also slap it down on a tray, by the way, like to sort of toss it from about a foot. Be careful with this. This could <laughs> end up somewhere somewhere on the wall or floor. But anyways, just toss it onto your parchment paper and it'll spread out a little bit too because the dough is very, very soft. And that's it. You know, any shape you want, cook these babies up. Uh, you can do pizza dough with this. You can do hot dog buns. You can obviously put this uh, into loaf or loaves. I would do several loaves with this because this is about two loaves worth of, um, of ingredients and uh, have fun with it. And thanks for tuning in today. Be kind to each other. Bye-bye.